How you doing lads and lasses? I'm that random Scott, you can call me Jordy, and welcome back to another fantastic episode of Undertale. Episode 7 I think we're on by now. The last time, you all may remember, uh, we, we fought a few dogs, ended up befriending them, then we had an interesting confrontation with Sans and Papyrus, which basically turned into nothing because nobody activated, whatever. Then after that, we finally found Snowden Town, big moment, we explored that, met a few interesting characters, and found out where the dogs go for a piss up. Today, let's crack on because things are going to be getting interesting now, the story and the plot's advancing, and from what I remember from last year when I played this game, it was round about after after you found Snowden in town when, you know, things start escalating, you meet more and more characters, and you start getting a better understanding for what's going on, which really is once it starts becoming a proper game on its own then. Okay. Let's do this. Well, last time, if you remember, we ended the episode with Frisk, or Jordy, or whatever we are in fact calling him or her, left with them in the library, reading this book. Week-long book. That must have been a good one. Okay, what's that actually say about the book? Literally nothing. Okay. It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. Well, to be fair, they probably are. What if there anything like Irish, uh, Irish weddings where you just have a big massive party? You never know. Could be like a work. Although, to be fair, kids giving school essays about um, monster funerals is a bit weird. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on the person's favourite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of getting sick of writing this. Kids these days. But no, it's, uh, it's actually... Hold on a sec. Sorry about that, how do we tangle in the cables? Anyway, uh, yeah, pretty much. Basically, they take the body or the ash of the monster and then spread it on whatever the favorite thing is, so... Well, that sounds a bit creepy, but I'm not going to judge. I'm not going to judge at all. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us, but they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Ah, ended there, fan. Cliffhanger. Here I am writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry, I'm still writing that one. <coughs> that, that annoyed me. That annoyed me a little bit. Not too much, though. Because they're made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with a desire to kill... Um, let's end the chapter here, shall we? Yeah, basically that's... Like, this is why you got to, when you play this, you got to read and click on everything, because the lore of this game is insane. Like, the point of it is pointing out how... Um, Frisk with a human soul. With that soul, if they were to do evil, aka when I do my genocide run eventually, if I do that, th it will it will prove that uh, they get stronger the more they kill, and and the more powerful their soul gets, the more stronger their attacks get, basically. And likewise, on the pacifist run, the more powerful their soul gets for good the more powerful the actions of good can become and determination can get get the character through anything. Monster History Part 4. Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city, home. We braved harsh, cold, damp swampland and searing heat until we reached what we now call our capital. New home. Again, our king is really bad at names. Yeah, you don't say, pal. 
Like, that is... Ugh. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of a soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Oh, that is... They are literally dropping fire, like... Like, shots are being fired. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill in with comics and games. That oh, sounds like my kind of paper. Who's this? <coughs> when I was younger, my teenager, my, my teachers gave me my word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a mistake and a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Oh, well, good, good for you, love. Nobody actually gives a shit. That look in your eye. You're someone that has difficulty solving Junior Jumbo. Aren't you? Seriously, what am I doing with these voices to these people? I'm making them sound now I'm retarded. Like that guy, just, I, I don't know. Just decided to sing it for some reason. Who cares? Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. What sign? Fam, are you for real? The library. Good job. Good job, people. Oh, who lives here? Oh, of course. I remember who lives here. Brace yourselves, people. This mailbox is labelled papyrus. Look inside, yes. It's empty. Yeah, exactly, if you haven't conned on by now. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This is indeed the house of Sans and Papyrus. Shoot. It's locked, alright, fair enough. Oh dear. <laughs> I just got sucked up by that igloo, mate. Gotta go right back. I'm not walking that distance, fam. Oh, look, a shed. What's in here? It's locked from the inside. Alright, cool. Alright, let us go. Moving on out of Snowden, we've all stocked up with health items and... Ooh. No, I'm just gonna go back there. I feel like I'm in Stephen King's The Mist. Uh-oh. Silhouettes. Me and Papyrus. What's going down now? Human! Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I, 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 I'm sorry, I skipped that, um, incorrect button push. I'm very sorry for that, but it's okay. <clears throat> I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be no lonely no longer. I, the great Papyrus, will be your... Dot, dot, dot. No. No, this is, this is all wrong. I, I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Oh man, we've got to fight him. This is going to be depressing. Papyrus blocks the way. I am not, well, obviously I'm not killing him because I'm trying to be pacifist, but I could not hurt this guy. Okay, we've got options of floating and insulting, so literally one negative to the other here. So let's just start with floating. What? F flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. Um, I can make spaghetti. 
I have zero redeeming qualities. Literally me. <laughs> I joke, I joke. Um, I, c I can actually make a really good spaghetti in real life, so this is not bullshit. Oh no! You're meeting all of my standards! I guess this means I have to go on a date with you! Let's date! Later! After I capture you! Um, cool. Solid attack there. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Uh, floating. Oh no! Let's date L later after I capture you. Okay, so that I can't do that anymore. That just repeats it. Hold on. Papyrus is always doing a number for me throat. <sighs> Papyrus is thinking about what to cook for his date. Um, I don't want to insult him, but uh, how selfless! You want me to feel better about fighting you. I don't deserve such hospitality from you. Okay, so neither of them work, so... Let's try... Just It worked for Toriel, sparing over and over again, so... Uh, yeah. So you won't fight! Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack! Yep, I can handle it. I'm not sure whether he's even actually trying, or, yeah. Oh, sugar, honey, iced tea. You're blue now! That's my attack! <laughs> You're blue now. Yes, I am. Th okay, this brings out a new dynamic, because it means I can't float around. I've got bounce and stuff. Hmm, I wonder what I should wear. Papyrus dabs empty. Papyrus dabs. <laughs> no, but seriously, Papyrus dabs MTT brand Bishy cream behind his ear. Not entirely sure what a Bishy is, but I'm sure we'll eventually find out. What? I'm not thinking about that date thing. Whoa. Whoa! Whoa! Sugar! Na 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 na. Okay, just same. Oh, anime powder this time. Also MTT brand. MTT must must be the top name brand. Yeah! Don't make me use my special attack. Uh oh. Fam, fam, how am I alive? <laughs> Papyrus dabs MTT brand cute juice behind his ear. Wait, hold on, he's a skeleton. Where are his ears? Like, how are you doing this? Papyrus, do you break physics? I can almost taste my future popularity! Hmm. I know that feeling. <laughs> oh, sugar. I keep saying sugar now instead of sugar. Uh-oh, gotta stop. Okay, we're good. Whoa, tricks a little son of a gun. Papyrus dabs MTT brand attraction slime behind his ear. Is he literally just combining all these together to build ears? Because, I don't know. Papyrus, head of the royal guard! Uh, whoa, whoa, you cannot. Papyrus, unparalleled spigatory! Ah. Uh. Ooh, it's getting interesting. Although I probably should use some of it. <laughs> I'm so immature. Butts pie. Butts pie. Okay, uh, nice claim. You're just great. Your HP was maxed out. Excellent. And Dine will be really proud of me! Oh. Ay, 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 Oh, oh, how am I alive? He was preparing something, I just skipped it. My apologies. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my face! 
and my smile. Okay. Papyrus is cackling. <laughs> my brother, well, well, he won't change very much. Ay, little bum. Papyrus whispers. <laughs> Welcome to ASMR with Papyrus. <laughs> uh, uh, give me a bicycle. I want to eat my bicycle and recover 11 HP. I'll have lots of admirers, but... You'll have admirers, Papyrus, but will you have friends? Will they love you for who you are, or do they will, will they love you for your power? Question of the day, kids. Papyrus is cackling. Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? Well, I don't know. Probably impossible, mate, because I like everyone. Ugh, oh, it moves. Ugh, oh, it's just problem using my keyboard fingers here. I've, like, hmm. I was sure that WASDF would work, but I guess not. Someone like you is really rare! Oh well. I'm so dead. This is how I die. This is how I die. Wow. Okay, um... Cinnamon roll, or cinnamon bunny, whatever. And dating might be kind of hard. Ugh. Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. You're failing, mate, you're already too cool. After you're captured and sent away! Yeah, it would be hard to date me if I'm in prison, fam. These attacks are getting intense. Ah! Uh, who cares? Give up! I'm not one for giving up. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, shh! This guy is really taking a number out of my items. Give up and face my special attack! Okay. Papyrus is considering his options. Mate, you have no options. Yeah! Very soon I will use my special attack! Oh yeah, I keep hitting the last one. He's preparing a special attack. Not too long and I will use that special attack! I have to use it already. I keep hitting the last one on the thing all the time. This is your last chance before my special attack! I'm going to need an item now. You eat one half of the bicycle. You acquired le you uh, recovered 11 HP. Behold, my special attack! Fam, the dog is back! What the heck? That's my special attack! Hey, you stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey, where are you going? What are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Oh well! I'll just use a really cool regular attack! Papyrus is getting ready for a regular attack. Okay. <sighs> Here's an absolutely normal attack! Yeah, it's normal. I'm already... Oh yeah. Ah. 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 Sugar. La 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 la. I'm gonna die. Oh, here's a dog. Cool. Dude. And bone and escape one. That was. How am I? What? What is this logic? 
How did I do this? That was... Okay, that was eventful. Well, it's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Papyrus is sparing you. Ah, oh, thank you, pal. I accept. <sighs> Get rid of that weird mist. No, I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the royal guard, and my friend quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends, or what a loser? Yeah, what a loser, you dick! No, no, no. You have no heart if you pick that option. Let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess, I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowee, we haven't even had our first date. And I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Yeah. To be fair, the friend zone is amazing. All I, who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them. You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface! Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul, like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is, well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain that if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> and he's just like, woo, off. Okay. Well, that was a, that was a fantastic, absolutely wonderful experience. Okay, let's continue on into the dark caves. Although, I mean, to be fair, should I go back and get some more? Yeah, I should, probably should go back and get some more health items. Because I'm, I'm not really sure what to expect. If I remember, yeah, hop in the igloo. Oh, the virus is just chilling there. Yep. How are you doing? Hello, traveler. How can I help you? I'm gonna buy some stuff. Right. Now, cinnamon buns are cheaper than bicycles. And they add more health, but a bicycle can get you too, so... Uh, I'll have one of them. Thank you. Let's have a wee uh, talky talk with you. Hello. Hiya. Welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where'd you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Grilby's has food and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. See, now this is another bit of mystery in the game. Sons of Papyrus apparently just appeared out of nowhere. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. 
Yeah. Yeah, okay, nobody actually cares about town history in your life, but, well, could be interesting. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there, in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folks decided that they liked the cold and set up camp at Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked up for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. What about your life? Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic, but we all know deep down the freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we get that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Yeah, that's that's life. Okay, let's exit here. Go over to the save station here. And save. And that is going to be it. We will go on that date with Papyrus next time in that random Scott plays Undertale. So anyway, I really hope you had a fantastic time watching, as usual. And next time, we'll, uh, we'll definitely go on that date with Papyrus, then explore the darker section of the caves across that weird misty bridge, and find out exactly what the mystery behind the, them and this whole underground is. Probably. Might take some time. Sure, we'll meet some wacky and kooky characters along the way. So, as usual, it's been a thank you from me. Please like and comment down below. And if you really want to catch up more on what we've got to offer here, and you really enjoyed yourself, please don't hesitate to give that, like, that subscribe button a nice big smack from me. As usual, I'll see you next time. Keep it real, lads and lasses.